Welcome to Traveling While Black in Seattle. Hey, what's up? I'm Anthony, this is my wife Marley, and welcome to another episode of Traveling While Black. Yes, welcome back everyone. And as a brief reminder, our show is based on our experiences traveling. And we base those experiences off of how good of a drive it was, how much fun we had, and most importantly, how comfortable do we feel as black people visiting for the first time? Welcome to episode 100. Wow, 100 episodes. But for real, it is truly a blessing to be able to make that many episodes. And we really couldn't have done it without the support of you all. Yes, thank you so much for watching and coming back week after week and subscribing. And just thank you for even motivating us to continue to do this show. So as we promised, we have a special 100th episode and it's going to be our first of many international trips. So for our first of many international trips, we chose to visit the beautiful country of Belize. Now look, this country is so dope, we have to cover it in two episodes. For the first episode, we are covering a place that if you do decide to visit the country, we definitely recommend staying at. A beautiful place, has great activities and dope accommodations. For the second episode, we're going to focus on the people and the culture of Belize and specifically how our experience was as a black traveler. Yes, and we hope you enjoyed this episode and next week's episode as well. And we can't wait to go on even more international trips too. But we also would like to announce that we will be making even more episodes outside of the state of Washington. Now look, Seattle will remain as our base and a majority of our episodes will still cover Washington in the Pacific Northwest. But we want to expand the scope of our show to show you beautiful people what this world has to offer. And for now, today, sit back, take a look at this episode, enjoy the 100th episode, and as always, let us know what you think. 100 YouTube episodes is a huge milestone. That's why we knew we had to do something special. When trying to figure it out, we thought about how we like to travel to other countries. And when we do, we have the same questions and concerns for traveling as a black person as we do when traveling in America. The light bulb went off. At that moment, we decided that for our 100th episode, we would visit a country that we've never been to. But where? To decide that, we conducted a rigorous in-depth decision-making exercise. And in the end, the country we chose was Belize. Next, we needed to decide where to stay. After doing a little bit of research, we found a great looking and highly rated all-inclusive resort named Syrian Bay, located on the Valencia Peninsula. So, Mars and I packed our bags, grabbed our passports, and hopped on a plane to check out the country of Belize, starting with the beautiful Serenian Bay Resort. Fly grade. So for these international episodes, instead of doing the normal drive grade, since more than likely we can't drive to these places, we'll break down the overall travel journey to the location and call this segment fly grade. And while it's not impossible to drive to Belize, a flight is a much faster and preferable option for getting there. At the time of when we flew down, we could not find any direct flights from Seattle to Belize, but we will note that Alaska Airlines will be flying direct there in the near future. But for us this time, we had layovers. When you get to Belize, you realize that it is a really small airport. And of course, you have to go through customs, but we will say our experience getting through customs this time was pretty fast and efficient. Since the airport is located in the northern part of the country and Palencia is located on the southern peninsula, we had to take a smaller plane to get there. I had never traveled in a small plane before, so I was a little nervous. But after overcoming the nerves, it really wasn't bad at all. The flight to get to Palencia was around 35 to 40 minutes, which wasn't bad. All in all, for our travel experience getting to Belize, we give a four out of five. Level of fun. Syrian Bay Resort and Villas is an all-inclusive beachfront resort on the Palencia Peninsula. It's one of the very few all-inclusives in the country, but the only true all-inclusive. An interesting fact is that the resort is actually named after the native mantatee, which is also known as a Serenium. Ha! 
On top of the interesting facts, the resort offers some great amenities right on the property, like a luxury spa, a swimming pool, 18-hole mini golf course, a fitness center, pickleball court, which is Washington's official state game, and tennis courts, a beach access, a dope poolside bar named Snooty's, and of course, the accommodations are dope ranging from four family-style villas featuring everything from fully equipped kitchens with the private chef option and a private pool to 12 beachfront all-inclusive bungalows. And the food on the resort is unbelievable. Whether we ate lunch at the Beach Grill, which offers a more casual beach eating experience, or Inky's, a nice restaurant that features local seafood, among other things. Another interesting fact is that Inky's is actually named after a legendary octopus who escaped the preserve in New Zealand and was said to have arrived at Belize's Great Barrier Reef. Ha! Yeah, finally visitors can visit the newer option for dining and great cocktails at the 360 Martini Bar, an open-air rooftop bar featuring panoramic views of the Palencia Peninsula and glorious sunsets over the Maya Mountains. Yes, the resort was great. But what you will notice about Belize is how the people of the country take pride in not only preserving the natural beauty of nature, but also showing it off. And Serenian Bay makes it extremely easy to experience in that beauty by offering adventurous excursions. And you better believe we were there to experience them. First, we did zip lining hosted by Mayan Sky Canopy Tour, which takes you on seven zips over the Stan Creek River and the rainforest it runs through. Y'all, I can't lie, I was terrified but the tour guides are super helpful and they will ride with you if you are scared and before long at least for me you'll be going solo I had a blast and can't wait to do it again. Next, we experienced the river tubing down the Stan Creek River, also hosted by Mayan Sky. The river wasn't crazy with the rapids, so it's pretty chill for the most part, which is good because Mars and I can't swim. A fact that definitely made us more nervous when we went snorkeling, which is hosted directly through Syrian Bay. This allows visitors to experience the natural barrier reef and beautiful sea life up close which also includes sharks. Huh. But after overcoming the nerves, we had a blast. The snorkel tour also takes you to one of three islands for lunch, relaxing, and more snorkeling. The last adventure we got to experience was a lot more chill, but really, really cool and delicious. It was a trip to a Mayan chocolate farm. There we toured the farm and we even got to give it a try at making chocolate, just like the Mayan people. We also got some history and education of the Mayan culture. All in all, our trip to Belize, we had a great time, and it was truly a life-changing experience. Getting out and experiencing the beautiful nature and fun adventures that challenged us to overcome some fears and do some things we never imagined doing. Yes, and all thanks to Syrian Bay Resort and Villas. If you're considering a trip to Belize, which we absolutely recommend, we personally hope you choose Syrian Bay as where you stay. And don't worry if you want to know more about Belize itself before fully committing, we will go more in depth next episode. But for this one and our experience of Belize via Serenian Bay Resorts and Villas, we give a five out of five for level of fun. Comfortability for black people. So one thing that stood out for us about Belize is the fact that it is a brown country that has a lot of diversity. But we will dive more into that next episode. Yep, for this one, we will focus on how comfortable it is for a black person staying at Syrian Bay Resort. And we can say very comfortable. Not only do they have a diverse staff, but everyone is friendly, welcoming, and actually treats you like family. Yeah, we noticed that the staff of the resort really had a family feel. And they would tell you that a lot of that is a credit to the owners, Brian and Brendan Montgomery, who also have a really dope story as well. It's nice to see that family treatment passed on to the guests. As a black traveler, we can absolutely recommend Syrian Bay Resort and Villas. We definitely encourage you all to find out more about Syrian Bay Resort and Villas at their website located in the description. As for comfortability for black people, we give the resort a 5 out of 5. We hope you found this episode to be helpful and entertaining. Be sure to check out our previous episodes. Yes, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. And check out our merchandise on TravelingWhileBlackSeattle.com. And be sure to reach out if there's anywhere you would like us to check out. Until next time, beautiful people, stay up, stay true, and do you.